everyone uh, welcome to an academy this is devishri here if you want to join an academy plus you can join it with the help of my referral code that is deba1 what are the benefits of an academy are daily life classes structured courses as per the standard csir syllabus live test and quizzes unlimited access to all the educators at single subscription so if you want to join an academy plus you can join it with the help of my referral code if the price list if you join if you are planning for if you are planning for one month the amount will be 1890 for uh, three months it is 4725 for six months it is 7560 for 12 months it is 9450 for 24 months it is 11340 if you use my referral code deba1 you will be getting a 10% off on all the prices so to avail the maximum benefit at minimum price you can use my referral code that is deba1 yes so today our topic is aging and senescence aging is what it is a time related deterioration whenever there is a deterioration in the cells deterioration in the metabolic activity deteriorations in the enzymes due to the time due to the time we called it aging aging is the process of becoming older the term refers especially to human beings many animals and fungi so we can say that uh, in case of uh, aging we can say that it is a time related deterioration with time the people develop certain kind of uh, you can say certain kind of mutation certain kind of uh, you can uh, say uh, certain kind of diseases which re, which leads to the non functional of certain factors which is responsible for causing uh, aging right so it decreases what are the outcome of aging the outcome is it decreases survivability and fertility so the once the aging starts the fertility process also goes on decreasing right and the rate of survival of an organism also decreases with the aging coming to senescence so what is senescence if we talk about senescence senescence or biological aging is the gradual deterioration of functional characteristics we can say that senescence is the part of the aging senescence is what it is part of the aging it 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 basically it focuses or you can say it characterizes the old age right so see uh, in case of senescence if we say senescence senescence is a part of aging which basically characterized old age which is characterized at old age and it is a part of aging it basically you can say it helps in the aging process senescence helps in the aging process and it is a gradual deterioration of functional character it deals with a gradual deterioration of the functional characteristics with time so if we talk about senescence what is senescence or biological aging it is a gradual deterioration of functional characteristics the senescence or biological aging is the gradual deterioration of the functional characteristics it helps in aging process and it is a part of the aging process it characterizes the old age right faulty and age cells are removed by apoptosis so whenever there is a uh, there is a faulty cells or there is a weakened cell that cell gets removed with the help of apoptotic process so what is apoptotic process it is a programmed cell death so if a cell is uh, if a cell is willing if a cell is undergoing apoptosis there are certain changes in the cell like let me give you an example of a common changes uh, if this is a cell initially what happen phosphoryl serine will remain inside the cell but with time if this cell is subjected to apoptosis apoptosis then what will happen this phosphoryl serine will go out it will give a signal that hi i am available for apoptosis so the cell will be now undergoing apoptosis to intrinsic and extrinsic pathways right so these are the um, you can see this is how the uh, the cell carries out its uh, metabolism right so um, this is fat faulty and a cells are removed from our body by apoptosis and apoptosis is a programmed cell death coming to the life span if we say that because uh, this aging why i have introduced life span here 
aging is related to the life span because uh, uh, every time if the life if the lifespan is 17 days then aging will be occur before 17 days right similarly in case of human it is 122 to 123 years so if it is like this then what will happen aging will takes place before uh, 123 years right so a lifespan is important here to know the to know about the aging process in more efficient way right so if we talk about housefly the aging will be the lifespan will be 17 days if we talk about starling the starling the uh, lifespan will be 17 months for carp it is 19 years for shark it is 25 years for cat it is 36 years for lobster it is 50 years for elephant it is 70 years and for human it is 120 to 123 years so these are the lifespan list of different organism right next we will see the factors which are involved in aging process there are basically four set of factors which are involved in the aging process the four set of factors are proteins of insulin pathway dna repair enzyme uh, see proteins of insulin pathway we will be discussing about this factors in the in a very detailed way but this is the basics part so i am only focusing on the basics next class we will be dealing with the theories and we'll be dealing in more detail so these are the proteins of insulin insulin pathway dna repair enzyme so if there is a changes in this four factors it leads to aging so what are the four factors basically the four factors are the four factors are proteins uh, of insulin proteins of insulin pathway dna repair enzymes it basically involves reactive ros is reactive oxygen species right and telomerase p53 gene chromatin remodeling enzyme so these enzymes if there is a non functionality if there is a mutation in this functions then we can see aging process before time Right? So this is what these import these enzymes are important because if there is a mutation in the genes encoding this enzyme, then what will happen? There will be a premature aging. We will see this in more detail. So the enzymes are proteins of the insulin pathway, DNA repair enzymes, which is uh, which is uh, which we will be studying in two part how it deals with reactive oxygen species and telomerase chromatin remodeling enzymes and proteins in the mTOR signaling pathway what is mTOR signaling pathway we will see in detail if nobody if anyone don't know about mTOR signaling we will see it in uh, in the part when we will be discussing this what is mTOR right so this four factors in plays a very important role in uh, aging that is proteins of insulin pathway dna repair enzymes mTOR uh, proteins in the mTOR signal signaling and the chromatin remodeling enzymes right so what are the uh, if factors that play a uh, role in uh, aging is your dna repair enzymes chromatin remodeling enzymes proteins in the uh, insulin uh, pathway proteins of insulin pathway proteins in the mTOR signaling if they undergo certain changes then this lead to your aging process right coming to your dna repair enzymes dna repair enzymes this is only the basics not in detail dna repair enzymes plays an important role in preventing senescence if dna repair enzymes works efficiently then there will be no aging but if the if a or if a baby is not having a dna repair enzyme it is DNA, if in a baby dna repair enzyme is not working efficiently then what will happen premature aging will take place like in case of prosaria you have seen the palm movie in, uh, palm movie right so that was a case of uh, that disease we called it prosaria because there is a non-functional dna repair enzymes right so dna repair enzymes plays a very important role in uh, plays a very important role in uh, in preventing senescence species with more efficient or functional dna repair enzymes live longer or delay senescence right so the species with which have a dna repair enzyme more functional more efficient than in those species there is a the, they survive for a longer duration or you can say their senescence are delayed right 
coming to this is an example progerius which is premature aging syndrome it is due to the mutation in the functioning of dna repair enzymes when there is a mutation in the functioning of dna repair enzymes then we call it as a progeria it is a the, it causes premature aging means before after birth only it looks like a uh, you know aged uh, after birth only uh, the aging factor starts developing right so we call it what progeria is a premature aging syndrome which is due to the mutation in the dna repair enzymes coming to the coming to the theories of aging there are uh, th there are different theories of aging attempts to provide a framework in which to understand aging from different perspectives so there are different theories has been stated out to understand the process of aging in a different perspectives right so the theories of aging have first of all it is classified into biologic theories psycho psychosocial theories and developmental theories right so the theories of aging are uh, there are different theories which has been stated out to understand the concept of aging right so the theories of aging are classified into bio biologic theories psychosocial theories and the new developmental theories which we will be discussing in the next class in more detail so if we move to a quick summary of the class if we move to a quick if we move to a quick summary of the class if we move to a quick summary of the class what we have seen we have seen about aging we have seen about what we have seen about aging aging we can say it is a time related deterioration it is a time related it is a time related deterioration right aging is a time related de deterioration with times we develop sort of uh, sort of you can say uh, sort of you can say errors or sort of you can say deficiencies in our body leading to the aging senescence is a part of if we define senescence 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 is a part of aging it is a part of aging which is characterized at all these which is characterized which is characterized at old age right and if we talk about it is a part of aging you can also call it it is a part of aging right so the four factors which is responsible for aging are four factors responsible for aging are number 1 proteins of insulin pathway right second dna repair enzymes next dna chromatin remodeling if there is a error in the chromatin chromatin remodeling enzymes then number 4 proteins of insulin pathway dna if there is an error in dna repair uh, enzymes chromatin remodeling enzymes and your proteins of mtor signaling pathway right and here in dna repair enzymes we will be studying this in two uh, reactive oxygen species and telomerase right and there are uh, some theories which have been stated out which is classified into three parts biologic psychosocial psychosocial and development
so we will be di discussing these theories in detail so uh, i am finish i am ending up my class here next class we will be uh, dealing with the theories of aging as well as the uh, mechanisms of this factors how this factors help in aging if there is a, any kind of mutation we will check out this thank you so much students for attending this session thank you see you in the next class bye bye take care everyone